everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Your next lesson is your swimming class. Everyone head over to the swimming pool. Yes, teacher! Here we go. Man, it's such a pain getting ready for swimming class. Yeah, the water is so cold, and I hate taking cold showers, too. I hate swimming because it's just too cold right now. What's the point in complaining? Just get ready for the lesson, will you? Stop your whining. Get ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, everybody's leaving. Yeah, we better step on it. Mm. We're almost done. The water's cold. Yeah, I'm freezing. <laughs> The water's so cold! Fujiki, mm -hmm. your lips look much paler than they usually are. Well, it's none of your business. I was a popsicle out there. Yeah, let's get dressed quickly. That was horrible. I know what you mean. The water was ridiculously cold today. It was. It rained yesterday. And it's cloudy today, too. Uh, hey. What's the matter? That's odd. What's wrong? Did you lose something? I seem to be missing my underpants. Huh? What's up? Hamaji seems to be missing his underwear. What's that? His underwear's missing? Mm. Hey, guys, everyone look around for Hamaji's underwear. Huh? What? Oh. That's oh. Oh. <laughs> Looking for that? I want to touch that. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean for my missing underwear to cause you so much trouble. <sighs> Attention, please! Hamaji needs everyone's help! At some point during our ice-cold swimming lesson just now, Hamaji's underpants went missing! <laughs> to be frank, Hamaji has lost them! <laughs> wow, who loses their underwear, huh? Yeah, I know, weird. <laughs> That's so odd! <laughs> Right, Yamada, that's enough with the laughing. Yamada kun, this is no laughing matter. <laughs> Hamazaki kun is enjoying the very horrible condition of having no underwear under his pants. <laughs> Come on, Maruo. There's no need to go into such detail, you know. Right, everyone, please pay attention. I'm sure we can find Hamazaki kun's underpants around the swimming pool if everyone would look hard enough. Okay, but still, please come up and let me know if you've taken them or even put them on by mistake. <laughs> 
Who would make that mistake? No one would make that mistake. True. Right. Sit down. Thanks. Unbelievable. What a weird situation to be stuck in. Today of all days, I had to put on a really ragged pair of underwear as well. But even though it's quite worn out, the color is fantastic. It'll be so embarrassing if someone finds it. Maybe it's better if my underwear just remains missing. Hamazaki-kun, Hamazaki-kun. Ah, yes, sir. I know that you're concerned about your underwear, but please concentrate on the lesson. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, let's all go outside. I prefer to stay inside today. Don't be like that. Having no underwear doesn't matter at all. Of course it matters, Yamada. Hamaji looks really upset. As he should be. It's normal. I mean, who wouldn't be upset at losing a pair of underpants? If it were me, I'd be in the infirmary lying on a cot right now. Yeah, you're right. If it were me, I'd have left school crying my eyes out. People underestimate the importance of underpants. See? We're numb. It's default behavior to have them on. Mm. This incident with Hamaji has made me realize how important underwear is. Please, guys. Please stop talking about my underwear. I can't take it anymore. Social studies is next. Right. Mm. I can't believe I'm hungry. Yeah. I'll bet it was the swimming. That always makes me hungry. Hamazaki-kun's underwear has just been found. Ah! <laughs> Teacher! Can I have my underpants, please? Take it easy. They were found in the shower, so they're wet, and you can't wear them right now. Uh, so they need to be hung by the window so they can dry out. And as soon as that's done, you can have them back. No! You're kidding! My underwear's on display for everyone to see! I can't handle this! Uh! Right. So let's pick up where we left off. What do you guys know about the lives of primitive people? I know, sir. Primitive people didn't wear any underwear, just like Hamaji's doing today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop that. It's not nice of you to make fun of Hamazaki-kun. Yeah, cut it out. Hamazaki-kun didn't choose not to wear any underpants today, so it's not his fault. Frankly speaking, it's unfair to tease him. Yeah, I agree with Maruo-kun. Hamadaki-kun and the primitives are different. The primitive people had their own reason for not wearing any underwear. I've had enough! Will you people please stop talking about my underpants? Thank you! Hey, cheer up, buddy. <sighs> I've got a million choices of underwear, and I had to put on that ragged pair and then lose it. Let it go. Look, no one cares about your underpants. They're not even going to remember this happened. Yeah, forget it. I sometimes wear ragged panties, but no one bothers about that, do they? <laughs> and my dad doesn't care when he wears broken down pants, so you wore a ragged pair of underwear. After today, nobody's going to think about it again. Maru-chan, your underwear has nothing to do with this issue. And for that matter, neither do your father's pants. Yeah, <laughs> pants are a different matter, though. Yeah, it's cool. See you later. Later, bro. <laughs> His underwear was hung on a classroom window to dry out. Boy, that Hamaji has had a bad day, hasn't he? It really isn't funny, Dad. Hamaji was so depressed today, and I felt sorry for him. I feel the same way, but you have to admit it's funny. It isn't his fault. As they say, you get laughed at, and then you grow up. Well, it was hard to see him hanging his head, so I tried to cheer him up by telling him that sometimes I wear ragged underwear, and my dad wears ragged pants to work. What? Why'd you do that? Do you want to make a laughing stock out of our family? People are going to start thinking I wear ragged underwear, too. That doesn't matter. It's not like you wear anything fancy anyway. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? It doesn't matter. You're, You're wrong. wrong. It, it does, does matter. matter. And the Hamazaki residence. 
I'm so mad at you! Why would you want to hold on to a lousy pair of underwear like this? This is your fault, so don't yell. You chose to wear that underwear today. Well, if I had known I was gonna lose my underwear, I would have at least chosen a better pair! Quit your whining, you hear me? It's your fault for misplacing your underwear at school. I want you to throw these underpants away now! No, they're still wearable. But if you insist on better underwear, then please feel free to buy some with your pocket money. How can you say that, Mom? If you insist on keeping this underwear, then you can use it as a cleaning rag! <sighs> A few days later. Before the summer vacation begins for you, we're gonna do a bit of cleaning. Did everyone bring a dust cloth like I asked? Yes! Ah. <laughs> my ragged pair of underwear is my dust cloth. Uh, you're kidding me, Mom. You turned my underwear into a cleaning rag. Uh. <laughs> Ono Sugiyama and Sakura. They said I shouldn't worry because nobody would even think about my underpants after that day. Yeah, my ragged underpants have been turned into a dust cloth anyway. Hamachi believed that none of his classmates would remember his ragged underwear. What's this? This dust cloth looks so much like Hamaji's ragged underwear from that day. <laughs> he was wrong. Surprisingly, people did remember. Koike-kun is in the quiz show. <laughs> Did you hear the news? Koeki-kun from the other class is going to be on the quiz show Don Doko Don this Sunday. Are you serious? I watch that quiz show every week. And this week, they're pairing a child with one of the parents. So Koeki-kun and his dad will be on the show? Mm-hmm. Yep, I believe so. Wow, awesome. Gotta watch this one. Hey, hold up, Koeki-kun. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you're in the class next door, right, Sakura? Yep, I heard that you're gonna be on the quiz show next Sunday. Mm, you heard right. It isn't easy to get on that quiz show, am I right? Yeah, and there are rules to follow, too. I have to keep winning after the preliminary round or I'm out. Man, was this at the TV station? Mm, at the studios. Nice. So, did you meet any celebrities? Not really. I didn't meet any celebrities. No celebrity would show up just for a preliminary round. We're the general public, remember? Yeah, you're right. Going to a TV studio doesn't mean that you're gonna run into a celebrity, does it? That's how it is. Some people may be lucky enough to run into a celebrity or two, but I guess luck wasn't on my side. Hold on, you're on a quiz show on TV, and that means you're gonna meet the presenter or the host of the show, am I right? Sure. As the host of the show, he's gonna be there. So jealous. Listen, I was wondering, do you think you might be able to get me the host's autograph? Huh? Are you a fan of the host or something? I'm not saying I'm a fan of his or anything. Who cares? I see the guy every week on TV. He's familiar. You know what? You say you see him on TV every week and he's familiar to you, but I bet you don't even know his name. Mm. He's familiar to me simply because I see him on TV, but I still want the guy's autograph. Mm. Well, if I get the chance, I'll ask him for you, all right? But I'm not making any promises. Got it. <laughs> Koike kun from the next class is gonna be on the quiz show Don Doko Don this Sunday night. Really? Good for him. Seriously? Kids can enter that show? He's gonna be with his dad. So it's one of those parent and child shows, then? Hmm. It's Koike Kun and his father. I think it's good this is happening. It's a real bonding occasion. I bet I won't get a single question correct. Yeah, me neither. So if Dad and Grandpa went on the show, they'd be at the very bottom. <laughs> the bottom? The next morning, Hello, Maru-chan. Good morning. Good 
morning, sir. I don't know if you've heard, but Koike kun is gonna be on the quiz show on TV with his father this coming Sunday. Huh? Koike san and his father? Yeah, great, isn't it? Yes, that's incredible. I even asked Koike kun if he could get the presenter's autograph for me. Huh? The presenter's autograph, huh? I'd like that, but I'd also like to have a picture of Koike san and his son on TV. You should go ahead and take one. A photograph of them on TV will be a memory for the family to cherish. You've got a point. A chance like this doesn't come around very often. Now that I think about it, I'd very much like to have a photograph of me watching that quiz show. Okay, we should make that happen then. I'll pop by your house on Sunday. Huh? Yeah, are you sure? Hmm. Leave everything to me. I'll take care of it. Huh? My dad is going over to your house this Sunday? Hmm. I told him I'd like a photograph of me watching the quiz show, and he was kind enough to offer to take a shot of me. That's why he's coming. I don't think this is a good idea. I know if he comes to your house, he'll cause problems. Come on, it's not a problem in any way. An opportunity like uh... this doesn't come around much. It's a chance to make a memory. This is a chance for the Koike family to create a memory. You seem to forget you're just watching a TV show. Why don't you come over with your dad, too? We can cheer the Koike's on together! Ah, Koike-kun. Yeah, what's going on, Sakura? <laughs> Check this out. Tama-chan's dad is coming over to my house to take a photograph of you and your dad while you're on the show. The plan is for all of us to support you guys. Best of luck on Sunday. Uh, thanks, but no pressure, right? There's no need to worry. I'm pretty confident that you and your dad can quite easily win the competition. Thanks, but it isn't likely. It's impossible to do so. You'll uh, be fine. And I'm counting on you to get that autograph. <laughs> Sakura, you still don't know the name of the presenter, do you? Ah. <sighs> And then the day finally came. Good evening, everyone. Hi, everybody. Hi, how are you? Come inside, please. What's up, Tama-chan? You took your time. Oh, ah, quite a feast you've prepared. And rightly so. We heard you're going to be taking photographs tonight, so we thought, why not? It's nothing. Not a problem at all. Let me take some pictures of this right away. Thank you so much, Honami-san. Tonight is quite a rare occasion. This will be a memorable evening. The show's starting soon. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Welcome to tonight's show, everyone. Quiz Don Doku Don. I'm your host and quiz master tonight, Nakano Hitoshi. All right. That's the guy. His name is Nakano Hitoshi. Are you saying you didn't know that? I just forgot. I also asked Koike-kun if he could get this guy's autograph for me. Since when were you a fan? I'm not calling myself a fan of his. I just mean he's familiar. Yes, good. This is a photograph of Maru-chan asking the presenter if she can have his autograph. <laughs> yeah! Tonight is a parent and child game. The Koike family is from the Shizuoka Prefecture. Yeah! yeah. 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 You know, TV's great. Koike-san looks like a really powerful person on camera. Yeah, Koike-kun looks like he's got the answers to every single question. <laughs> it's time to begin the quiz, folks. What is the four-letter idiom indicated in this picture? Oh, oh it's strawberry picking. No, that isn't a four-letter idiom, dear. Ichigo Ichie. That's right, good answer! <laughs> oh, now I understand what the strawberry meant. Told you Koike Kun's a smart guy. Next question What appears in the spider's thread? The Buddha appears! <laughs> Sorry, that's wrong. Over to the Koike team. <laughs> Kondata! <laughs> <gasps> Well done! Amazing! Go, go, Team Koike! You got this! Gecko! Gin 
Ginkgo or Ginji? Of these three, which is a reptile? <laughs> the Ginji! <sighs> no, Ginji's a person. Oh. Yeah, don't be hasty, kuiki san Just take it easy. Right, we've arrived at the final question. The correct answer will determine the champion. Who is going to win? Team Kuike or Team Goto? Ready? Here comes the question. Of all the prefectures in Japan, which of them has the least acreage? <laughs> the answer is Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Over to Team Koike. <laughs> Tagawa is the least. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah. You deserve to win this, guys. Yeah, they did an amazing job. True, a well-deserved win. Well done, Team Koike. What an impressive performance. Hey, Honami-san. I know you're not moved by this, but don't forget the camera. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Okay. Everybody in and cheese! Cheese! <laughs> the prize for the champions is a trip to Hawaii. So lucky. Can somebody take me to Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> At the same time. Good job tonight, guys. <laughs> time to go home now, son. Yeah, I... I'm just... What's wrong? Oh, I'm... What should I do? Even though he emerged the champion, he's feeling a bit restless. He's supposed to get Nakano Hitoshi's autograph from Maruko, but he simply can't find the chance. Oh! What is it? Oh, are you looking to get Nakano Hitoshi's autograph? I can ask him if you'd like. Uh... No, thanks. It's no big deal, Dad. <laughs>